I thought I had beaten her. I thought her menace would never again see the light of day. I thought it would be foolish to keep worrying about her. Among the fugitives of last night's prison riot is notorious master criminal and arch nemesis of the mysterious Madwell, Cozy Doll. Turns out I was a fool to let my guard down. But you don't think she might come for you, do you? I mean, she doesn't know who you are. Well, well, well! If it isn't... Merida well. How am I gonna beat her? She knows everything about me! My friends, my family, my life! And she'll destroy it all! Not if we stop her first. Come on, let's get this cycle! You've come this far, Maruel, and you came pretty far. But I am done playing games. Now, why don't we get a little more... cozy? Wow, that trailer honestly had no business being that good. Anyway, welcome back everyone to the great second Robotus Anniversary Special. Let us start part two of the night with a short look at the result board. Ooh, it's a pretty close call then. If you want to make sure your best pony survives the night, you better give it a call. Remember, the number is 555 for a bonus prime keyword sketch. Get to voting, everybody. It's still every pony's race. Okay, now that we got a little more hype in those lazy-ass consumers, how about we continue a little life or death small talk with Applejack? Hey, yo. Okay, AJ, what Robotus and many viewers have always wondered is, why did you lie about your hat? My hat? The fuck are you talking about? About its origin, more precisely. What in tarnation y'all on about? I ain't never lied about my hand. This here's an heirloom from me pappy. I got it after he, uh, moved to the retirement home. Yeah, that's what you said in the Christmas special. Which one? The one from our actual series, Best Gift Ever. But in an only episode, you couldn't have cared less that Rarity just took your father's hat off you and threw it in the trash to buy you a new one. I was just being nice to her as the script demanded. But y'all better believe me, I sure as shit went back afterwards and got my hat back. Okay, but what about another episode? There's a scene where Apple Bloom opens a closet in your room and gets buried under like 40 identical hats. What's up with that? Ain't nothing up with that. Them hats are from Daddy. So many? Yeah, as if my dad would only use one hat his entire life. In fact, he ain't even used the same hat two weeks in a row. He had a hat for every week of the year. Shouldn't it then have been 52 hats? Nah, not in a yokel year. We only got 40 weeks. Where the fuck is that? Well, we ain't come no summer vacation in the year. Them 12 weeks ain't no part of our calendar. Uh, again, why? Because we ain't working there. That doesn't make any sense. It does for me. Me old pa always used to say, if it ain't been a hard day's work, it ain't been no day at all. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't quite get it. It's fine, Twy. It's a yoke of thing. You just ain't country enough. I'll have to take your word on that. All right, next up we got, uh, me. Um, okay, so is someone gonna take over? Sure, give me the cards. Ahem, now then, Twilight. Oh, this is a very personal question. Nice. Uh, if you remember two years ago at the start of the sketches, everyone thought you had slept with your brother, including you. Ugh, why did you have to pick that one, Robotus? No, no, it's fine. It's actually not really about that. I mean, it did turn out that it was actually Chrysalis you had sex with, and she only turned into your brother after the fact to fool you. Uh, yeah? So? Well, what was it like? Did you fuck her in a changeling form, or was she a pony? Mero Stallion, that kind of stuff. I don't know, I think she was a stallion, most likely. But frankly, I can't really remember anything about that night. I mean, do you have any idea how much I slept around ever since then? Well, going from my personal opinion of you, I would say not at all. <laughs> and in that, you are completely wrong. I'll have you know that I had a lot of coitus this past year with many different partners. Oh, yeah? Name one. <laughs> sure. Uh, there's, um... 
Uh, oh, yes, Johnny Scenario. Who? Seriously, who? Like, that name does ring a bell, but I can't put my hoof on it. Well, he was the cameraman slash sound tech guy from the first anniversary. Ah, that dude who, like, never appeared on screen. Yeah, no, that can't be them. Why not? Because Johnny Scenario is fucking dapped, Twilight. What? What happened? Oh, darling, haven't you heard? It was a most tragic accident. But that doesn't exclude the possibility that I slept with him, does it? Maybe we had sex before that happened. Quite unlikely, as it happened literally the same evening the first anniversary was filmed. I even attended his funeral a few weeks after because even I felt a little bit of guilt over what happened. What even did happen? Well, apparently it was when he went to put away my big pool I used for that hot tub stream. He attempted to lift it up so the waller could run out, but he underestimated the weight it had. Upon full weight, he just fucking broke his entire spine. Which led to him dropping my pool and himself right in it after. There, he miserably drowned. Jesus fucking crackist. Yeah, well, that still doesn't prove me wrong. Oh yeah? And how the fuck you wanna have done it with him if he died right after the special? Where the quickie? Well, oh, fine. Okay, but back to Chrysalis. When you two did it, which hole did you use? Excuse me? I think this goes past simply being private, don't you know? I'm not gonna answer that. I didn't mean you, Twilight. I mean Chrysalis has holes all over her body. Did you get crazy with any kinky shit? Well, I'm a mare, so no. Speaking of horns, what exactly was that whole thing about Celestia and your horn? Can't you elaborate what she meant by perfect fit? I do not. That never happened. Sure. And what about Luna? That also never happened? Luna? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, she did it too once, you know. She what? I thought you were well aware. She did do it while you were sleeping, though, so... Maybe not. I don't believe this. When was that? Mm. Oops. Sorry, Twilight. But your time is up. Let's move on to Pinky. No, no, you can't just leave it like that. Explain this to me now. Tat tat, my little pony. You had your time. Be mindful of the of us. Like hell I will. This special can go fuck itself, including every pony in it. I'm out of here. Where are you going? Well, it looks like Luna has some explaining to do. Okay, never mind her. She'll be back. Dish, could you please take over? Ah, uh, fine. Well, I'm at it. Okay, Pinky. What is the wildest thing that ever happened to you? Oh man, you really picked a difficult one there. Where do I even begin? I mean, basically, there's not a single day without something crazy happening to me. Whatever, just pick your favorite then. Oh, okay, that helps. Well, I'd probably pick that one time I accidentally stayed awake for like a full week non-stop. A whole week without sleeping? How'd that happen accidentally? Well, in order for you to fully understand it, allow me to paint you the full picture. It all began with a big order for Sugar Keep Corner from an upcoming birthday party. That was back in our show days when I used to work there. They wanted, I think, 2,000 cupcakes. I guess I was that much in the zone while baking that I completely forgot the time. I mean, there was a clock there that I regularly checked, but to be honest, I only ever glanced at it from afar. I didn't realize until after the fact that the clock was actually broken. When I was finally done with all the cupcakes, a whole week had passed. Bummer for me that this order should have been due like four days before. Still, I find it hard to believe that you spent an entire week in the cake's kitchen. Did they never like try to throw you out? Well, yes, of course they did. But I had locked myself in the kitchen and was listening to my cupcake song on max volume by singing along with it. That pretty much deafened anything from outside that room, so I simply never heard them knocking or shouting. Aha. Uh -huh. But you did have to come out eventually. Yeah, after I was finished. Needless to say, it was fired the moment I opened that door. Anyway, after I realized how long I hadn't slept, I spent the coming week doing nothing but that. So, in conclusion, I first spent a whole week awake to then sleep through the entire next one. Mm, yeah, and that's about it. Okay, well, that was indeed kind of wild. Alright, Robotas, I've had about enough now of this hosting shit. Is Twilight back by now? Doesn't look like it. Ah, fuck me, then give him another ad break, I don't care. Are you a character from a famous TV show? A character who has their own personality and quirks? And who has always been reduced to nothing but a single joke or gimmick, completely disrespecting your entire being? 
If so, then know that you're not alone with this. It's become a downright pattern at this point, characters doing what specific thing that the fans really like, and promptly to them, they are nothing but that. I know it can be tough to imagine that others are in the same place as oneself, so how about some personal stories of some members? I've been pretty much the OG in Equestria when it comes to that. I never even said muffins, it was Minuet next to me. But no, of course, muffins is my big thing and not the fact that I'm literally derpy. I mean, don't get me wrong, of course I also like muffins, but who, like, doesn't? Everyone likes muffins, I mean, have you ever met a pony you say, let's get some muffins, and they say, hell no, I don't like no muffins, muffins are delicious. Uh, yeah, what I basically want to say with all this is, I just don't know what went wrong. For me, it's also been pretty frustrating. I mean, I had a real good base to build on. I could sing, I had this funny back and forth with Aurea, and generally was just a perfect counterbalance for her in a dad show. But no, what is it the fans latch on to? Fucking Taco Tuesday. Sure, I like tacos, but I only did that joke once in the movie and never again. And seeing all the fan out of me mostly consist of dumb taco notice, it really does get you a little demotivated. Which is probably the reason the Dazzlings fell apart after the movie. Well that and that one time where Dodge you nearly shot me dead in the midst of that gang war. Got you curious now, didn't I? What I for one would say the same, with the difference being that I've never even made a focused appearance in the show before getting slapped this label on. Only because those buffoons believe that I resemble some time-traveling academic from a sci-fi series, I'm suddenly Dr. Oofs. Which is not even my real name, but that's not what appends at this point in it. Those damn fans just when I make up their damn fan theories and damn fan whatevers without a care in the world because they're nothing but damn fans. What? No, no need to reshoot it. It had to be said someday. So you see, you're not alone. The Flanderization Help community is there for you. Come visit us at the Ponyville Community Center every second Saturday a month at 9 p.m. We're an open group and we'll accept any pony. Any pony willing to preserve who they truly are. Yeah, no, I couldn't find her anywhere. When I got to Luna's chambers, all I could find was a running TV showing this special. So Luna knew I was coming and chose to run away. So she knows what she did. But you wait, I'm gonna find that pervert and confront her proper, I promise you that. Sounds exciting. But date will have to be it. The big finale is about to begin. And with date, the reveal which one of you is going to die. So shut up and get on with the program. <laughs> Fine. Ahem. <clears throat> Alright ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for has finally come. Without further ado... The showstopper. The final verdict has been cast and the result of tonight's viewer's choice is... Oh my god, no way! Huh? What the... What? Oh my god, how shocking. Never would I have thought it possible. But the viewers have chosen. The loser of tonight is standard vector pony. Oh, gosh darn it, that's just my luck. Wait a minute, who? Standard Vector Pony? Who the fuck is that? Oh, oh, wait, I think I remember. Way back in episode 24 when Chrysalis was disguised as that out-of-place looking lamppost. You mean that dude that literally had like 20 seconds of screen time? Fucking hell, typical robotus. I know, everyone is still shook by these results, but there is no change in them. It really pans my heart. But Standard Vector Pony will now have to die. But before that, let us all come together and look back on his life. All the good times we hit, and everything we can be thankful for.
sniff. Shading tier. It is honestly unthinkable for me to imagine this show without him. Know that you will always be remembered. And dearly missed. Thank you Robotas and thank you all the viewers. My time on this channel has been fantastic all around and I have many fond memories of everyone I got to work with. But all good things must come to an end eventually. I knew that sooner or later it would have to come to something like this. I knew what I was signing up for and now the bill has come due. Farewell everybody and farewell my dearest main six. I wish you all only the best friends. It is time. <sighs> all right. I still don't know who the fuck that even was. Oh, it's all right, Fluttershy. You weren't even there in that episode. Okay, so that was not a big showstopper or what? You telling me this is what I've waited for? Ach, that was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Oh, just quit the fucking act and don't pretend like you didn't pull this ending out of your ass because you didn't have the bots to kill someone off for real. Though honestly, I think it's even more than just chickening out last second. This whole thing almost looks planned to me. Man, if that's true, this gotta be the cheapest river I've drawn together I ever fucking seen. I respect your need to cope with what's happened. I will miss him too. You're not even fucking listening to us, are you? And with that, the great second anniversary special has come to an end. Thank you all for watching and have a nice evening. Tschüssi Plattos von Robots. I think that's a big fucking nut. What's wrong, Apple Bloom? I don't know, I just got this money feeling in me that someone forgot again about us three also being main characters. You know, like we got left out of something again. Hmm, I mean, that's pretty likely. Got any idea what it was? Uh, nah. Not a clue. Hmm, you know what, never mind it. I'm sure it ain't been important.